The 2012 presidential candidate Jacob, independence presidential candidate Jacob Osayabwa has sued the Electoral Commission. Now he's joined in the suit by two other organizations, Macho Men for Good and Justice and Joint Youth Alliance. And we have him via phone this afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thanks for agreeing to speak with us. Now, why, why the suit and what, what is this all about? Um, first and foremost, uh, very good afternoon to your viewers. Um, first and foremost, um, it's about the quest for credible biometric voter register. That, 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 that is all about, and then a free and fair election. And it's also about the fact that we, we have political parties that are law-abiding. So these are the three basic things that, that we sent to the court for clarification. Now, we have less than four months to the elections, and you're heading to court. Why wait till this time? No, it's, um, it's been back and forth with the Electoral Commission with the hope that maybe we could have arrived at, 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 at a reasonable grounds. And because I'm coming from, from a professional point of view as an electrical engineer, uh, who is also involved in the identity management systems. And I have been cautioning the electoral commission that uh, um, what, uh, what they need to do is to ensure that they use the technology rightly. Because any technology that is used um, wrongfully tends to have um, negative effects on the society. Okay, so I kept on back and forth, and my lawyers were also back and forth with the issue. And so there's a need for us to go to court. It's so one thing that all of us should understand is that it's better for us to have a free and fair election without chaos than to go into an election and then now we have a looming chaos ahead of us. Because when we talk about credible biometric voter register, it's not about NHIS. Credible biometric voter register from all over the world is a register that has the barest minimum of the disease or the death on it. And you think that hasn't been done even though the register was open for people to go and verify and make all the necessary checks, even though this very issue also went to court? You think you're still not satisfied with all those processes? No, not, not at all. You see, that, that, is, that is the difference between those of us from professional background and maybe those of you in the media. You know, by the mere fact that the EC used the verification, it's nothing. Because at the end of the day, it's not, there's no law that backs the fact that if you are unable to verify during the exhibition, it means that you cannot cast your vote. So all of us who verified during the exhibition, together with the deceased, together with the minors, all of us, all the undesirables, uh, as, 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 as defined, in the Abu Ramadan case, are still in the voter register. Okay. And, and for you to have the disease of about 4.5% sitting on it, I know that elections are won with 50%, plus what? Even 1%. When you do the analysis, we do the statistical analysis. If you want to win at, 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 at a 95% confidence level, then it means that you have to have 3%. At 99.9, .9, it has to be 3.62%. At 99.99% confidence level, then it means that you need to have 54.25. And okay. so if you are having the debt of over 4.5 uh, on it, it's unacceptable. Thank you very much, Jacob Osei.